Hello everybody, time for an update. Two things, I am totally sweaty because I just worked out. Um, I didn't think I'd be this sweaty. And I forgot my laptop at work, which really limits my editing capabilities. So, not that I usually do a whole lot. But we're trying to get this done in one shot or close to. Um, first of all, a couple updates, which I had to write down. Um, I started a little recap back November 28th of 2022. And as of yesterday, I've lost 37.48 pounds. Um, I am still taking the metformin 500 milligram every day. Currently once a week, I'm doing the Trulicity 1.5 milligrams. And this week I will start the Trulicity 3 milligram. So, so far, really pleased um you know I, I i always am no matter what i'm doing think i'm gonna have those moments of it's not enough but i'm trying to look at the big picture and don't let the day-to-day -day little ups get the best of me the downs are fine um i did request a new coach as I have said in a previous video or two, I just really, I really felt like he was just going through, the, my original coach was just going through the motions, you know. He had no flexibility, it seemed like. Like I told my new coach, I, when I started this back in November, I started this, you know. I was eating, the foods for the reset and exercising. So sometimes when he would be like, whoa, how did this week go? It's like, just as good as past weeks have gone, you know? And then I think he would get frustrated. And like the last time I met him was three minutes. It's supposed to be 15. So this gal was super nice. And I felt like she totally understood what I was saying. Like, I don't feel like I'm on the track for each, you know, it's usually like a two week lesson and goal. I said, I'm kind of already doing those things. And she was like, well, that's great. She's like, we don't need to just go by their goals, which I was like, good to know. So it was kind of nice. Um, and now that I know I can do this, I need to think a little bit more before my next meeting with her because she was like, instead of the, you know, which foods did you eat? Which foods did you not? There's still a little bit of that, but she's like, what if we just make your goal? Were you happy with your choices today? And it was kind of a, an epiphany. I was like, that's great because each day could be good in a different way. You know, obviously I'm trying to do the best I can every day, but there's also been days where like, we had a meeting this week of um, a bunch of secretaries and we had a couple beers and had some fun. And I was like, man, I didn't eat any of the food. There was pizza. Um, I didn't say screw it and get chicken nuggies on the way home. I just, you know, did I stray a little bit having some adult beverage, but Yes, but I still didn't say screw it and get ice cream. So I, I like that method that, I, like I said, I think she understands where I'm coming from. So I'm excited about that. And even if, you know, I told her I'm not really a rule follower and she was like, we'll get along just fine. So um, she would for sure be someone at least every other week I could chat with and say, hey, here's the problems I'm having or here's what I feel like I've done real well. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that change. Um, I have decided that I wanted to kind of switch things up exercise wise because I've been doing really well with the amount and frequency of my exercise but was feeling a little like I'm doing the same thing all the time, which on one hand has been great. You know, there was no question what I was doing. You're going to do it. Um, so I did decided to go back to one of my favorite 
exercise programs ever is the beach body lift four because it's four days a week so i can still if i want to incorporate um stationary bike or rowing i can but every day is a little bit different whether it's hit weightlifting half hit half weightlifting you know some of it's boot camp style there's some that are all cardio so um I've been doing that this week and I've done the program before so um, I know I like it and I'm hoping that'll shake me out of my exercise rut a little and it's the weightlifting is more intense than what I do on my own so I'm like well maybe that'll be another I, I feel like my weight now instead of like ooh, ooh has just been which is fine, you know, it's still going down, but I'm like, maybe just shake things up a little bit. So, all and all, I am pretty pleased. I think, no, I had told you guys, I did go see a new doctor whom I really liked and was really supportive of this program. So I go back to him next week just for some blood work because my thyroid's been weird. It was too high, now it's too low. So maybe we're gonna Goldilocks it and it'll be just right this time. So I'll be interesting to see what um, what he has to say. I think since I was, it'll be six weeks since I've seen him and I'm done, I'll, I'll be down at least 10 pounds. So again, it's not super quick, but I, I feel slow and steady may be the way for me to win this race. So, um, my other right now, I kind of am a little bored with, but this is totally me, bored with my food choices because I've kind of been, I don't so much care during the day, you know, it's like I'll eat some fruit, maybe a protein shake, maybe some leftovers, but I feel like for dinners, I've been rotating between the same eight or nine meals, which is fine, but I get bored with that. My husband doesn't care. <clears throat> so... I might try to uh, do a little more Pinteresting today to find some food ideas. I did, I was chatting with someone on the Calibrate Facebook group and I said, you know, a lot of times I'll just look up vegetarian meals and then throw chicken in it, throw turkey in it. You know, it's like, I want the more protein, but I like a bunch of veggies. So that's kind of how I've been doing. Maybe I'll go on on a limb a little bit more this week. Um, it's, what is it today? Saturday, March 11th. We are under a winter storm watch again. We had two storms last week with really bad timing, not even just in jest, like I didn't get a day off of school, but the snow didn't start till after school started. So it was just a huge cluster. So we'll see, um, supposed to start this afternoon. So we are gonna go grocery shopping today instead of tomorrow. And then uh, I have seen anywhere from four to 16 inches. So weathermen, plus I think I have alluded to before, maybe here either in my TikTok, I'm not sure. Um, we live right on Lake Superior, which really makes snow prediction weird because the wind changes and it's off the lake or heading toward the lake and it can just totally screw things up and get crazy. So I will stop rambling because as I said, I don't have a computer to edit. Tucked away under my desk. So bummer. Um, but feeling positive, feeling good. And I will try not to wait so long to update you. I do meet with my coach this week, so maybe I'll have some more interesting news. So I really do appreciate your watching. Like and subscribe to follow me on my journey. And I keep thinking someday I'm going to uh, grow up hair and actually start doing weigh-ins. But um, I don't know. That seems so... Um, like, you can't tell I'm fat. I don't know why stuff like get, that gets to me. You're like, I'm shocked she weighs that much. But not today. So we'll see. Like and subscribe to follow me on my journey. Thanks.